Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and we're going to compare the iPhone 5 to the Lumia 920. Now both of these phones are pretty much the top of the line as far as their operating systems are concerned, and both are really nice devices. So we're just going to run down the specs and the price real quick. This phone can be had, the iPhone 5, for two, three, or four hundred dollars with a two-year contract, depending on how much memory you have. So 16, 32, and 64 gigabytes. The Lumia 920 can be had for $99 with a two-year contract and comes with 32 gigabytes of internal storage. Now, as you can see, the iPhone 5 is smaller than the Lumia 920, and that's because it has a 4-inch display, where the 920 has a 4.5-inch display. The display on both of them are both IPS LCD, and they both are basically retina displays, or are retina displays. The iPhone 5 has a 640 by 1136 pixels with a pixel density of 326, while the Lumia 920 has a 4.5 inch display, like I said before, with a 768 by 1280 pixels, a little higher than 720p, but a 332 pixel per inch density. So a little bit higher on the Lumia 920 side. They both have decent batteries inside of them, and the iPhone 5 and the Lumia 920 uh, easily got me through a day, but the actual spec is 1440 for the iPhone 5, which is good for about eight hours talk time and nine days or so on standby. The Lumia 920 has a 2000 milliamp hour battery that's good for 17 hours talk time and 16 days or so on standby. The iPhone 5 has an Apple A6 processor in it. It's a dual core. We think about 1.3 gigahertz, has a power VR GPU, a gig of RAM, and again, you can pick your storage options, as I mentioned before. The Lumia 920 has uh, a really nice Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Plus processor, dual core 1.5 gigahertz, Adreno 225 GPU, and a gig of RAM, and again, 32 gigabytes of internal storage. Let's turn it back on here and both of them have forward facing cameras and both of them have really nice rear facing cameras so we have a 1.2 megapixel camera on the front of the iPhone 5 and an 8 megapixel with flash on the back on the Lumia 920 similarly we have a 1.3 megapixel so pretty close on the front and then on the back an 8.7 megapixel hardware stabilized camera which should be good for holding it and bouncing around and it's also got a dual LED flash and records 1080p video both of those record that as well both have LTE built in so they are really fast on your wireless network uh, both are available pretty much for just about any carrier out there and will work on most of them you will have to look around for your carrier to get the right specs though they both have Bluetooth built in Wi-Fi and uh, they're overall both just really nice phones. The displays both look really nice in sunlight. In fact, the Lumia 900 might look a little bit better or brighter in sunlight. It's a, a clear or a true black display and is, is really very nice in sunlight, really easily red. The phones overall, uh, hardware-wise, the iPhone 5 is made of aluminum, very thin. I have a little protector on the back here, but aluminum, glass, glass front, Gorilla Glass 2, Gorilla Glass 2 on the Lumia 920, and a polycarbonate back, which is uh, equally as nice. On the top, we have our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. We have our SIM card tray, volume up down on the right side, power sleep awake, camera button. We also have our speaker and microphone, micro USB, and nothing on this side. And then again on the back. The iPhone 5, uh, same deal. We have basically nothing here but our SIM card slot on this side, our volume buttons, vibrate switch, power sleep wake. On the bottom, we have our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, speaker, microphone, lightning connector. One thing people ask about or that's really kind of stood out in reviews is the camera in the Lumia 920. So I thought I'd compare both of those. So I did some video and some different pictures or images basically doing the same in the same place. So let me show you that now. Now I'm recording video with the Lumia 920 and we'll scroll from left to right and then I'll bounce it a little bit just to see how it handles. It's a little bit jittery on the screen too as I record this. Now 1080p mode is turned on, just in case you were wondering. Let me bounce it a little bit and see how it handles it. 
Now we'll try out the iPhone 5 and see how it does. I'm recording with the iPhone 5 now. It might look a little bit darker, and that's because it's darker out. I lost some of the footage that I recorded originally uh, when I had the Lumia 920, which I no longer have. So I'm recording it on a different day, but same backyard, different snow, different tracks. The images that I took are on the same day, though. You've seen those images and hopefully that gives you a good idea of what the cameras are capable of. I did get some little choppiness with the frame rate on the Lumia 920 for whatever reason, uh, but I'm not sure why that is. I, I basically set everything to default and then with the video I turned it up to 1080p instead of 720p. The displays are very responsive, both of them. I uh, really can't tell a difference at all, but durability-wise of the phones overall, uh, the Lumia 920 uh, wins hand down, hands down, in my opinion. It just feels really heavy, and it is heavier. It's an ounce and a half or so heavier, and definitely feels heavier. It feels more sturdy in the hand as well. Uh, it's pretty much indestructible from videos I've seen about it. Overall signal strength and call reception, uh, I have my SIM card in the iPhone 5. It seems to be a little bit better on the Lumia 920, and that's probably due to its polycarbonate or plastic back that uh, is easily transmittable as far as the antennas go. And the phone overall has basically the same audio quality between the two. Audio, as far as the music audio on the Lumia 920, seems like it might be a little bit better. It's really hard to tell, uh, but both are really decent at just about everything. Uh, the cameras are the big standout in which operating system you want to use. So you're going to want to look at the different apps and things. And honestly, I find most of the same apps are available on both phones, uh, with maybe the exception of things like Instagram. You have Instacam or something similar. It's not quite up to par, but it's quickly getting to where it needs to be. Overall, I think both phones are great. And hopefully this quick comparison showed you uh, a little bit better of which phone you might want to get between the two. If you have any questions or comments about your experience with either phone, please place those in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.